We're back today with our out of the box implementation series for Odoo 16. Today we're going to be tackling price lists, how to create, manage, and utilize them to improve our sales process and maximize efficiency. At the barbershop, we'll use price lists in two different ways. First, for our wholesale customers and their pricing, and then also for any seasonal or special sales that we are running. We'll get started by first activating price list from the sales section in our settings. Since I need to have discounted price lists for my wholesale customers with additional quantity breaks, as well as some special time specific sales or seasonal offerings, I'm going to be selecting the advanced pricing based on formula. Once I've saved that change, we can start to drill into our price list. From here, we'll start by creating our first price list, which is specific to our wholesale customers. Now, once I've named my price list, uh, can begin by adding rules. These pricing rules can come in the form of creating a fixed price, discount, or formula, and can be applied to a public price list, a product cost price, or another price list that we have already set up in our instance. In addition, here we will be able to specify conditions such as whether this should apply to all products, a specific category of products, a single product, or even a product variant. So our first rule that we're gonna go ahead and add is for a discount. Um, this will be on our wholesale price list, so we'll have a 35% discount on our goods product category with a minimum quantity to start with at one and we'll go ahead and save and click a new one because we want to set quantity breaks. So we're going to repeat this process again for discount, this time being a 40% discount once they've met a minimum quantity. Um, same product category and our quantity this time is going to be set for 12. This time we'll go ahead and save and close that. Awesome. Now we're ready to set up our price list for our free shipping big summer blowout sale that we are going to be running. This price list will actually be a formula based price list. And so we're going to use our sales price or the public price list from which we'll discount. Um, and then we're actually going to add a little fee um, to help us recover some of our costs in shipping. So here we're gonna add a $1 fee and that will be added to our calculated discount price. And again, we're going to apply this to our goods category. And then finally, we'll specify our timeline for running the sale, which is through the 31st of August. So we'll save that and close. All right, great. So we've got both our price listed updated now. Let's see how this works once we apply it to our sales quote. We're gonna go up to sales and click on the create button. All right, let's get our details added. All right, now that we've got our customer into the system, it's gonna come up and have a default of our public price list. So we'll add our products, we'll add a quantity 15 for this beard oil here, and we're gonna add our clay as well. This time we'll leave it as just a quantity of one because we're gonna demonstrate those quantity breaks and the pricing rules that we set up earlier. So we have 25 and 18 as our unit price for each on our public price list. Let's go ahead and see what happens with our big summer blowout. This was a formula-based pricing with a discount as well as a fee added. So let's update that price list to see the reflected changes. All right, so now we've gone from 25 to $21 and 18 to 15.40. So it's applied that 20% discount along with the additional fee that we added. Let's go ahead and change it to reflect our wholesale price list. This is the one where we added pricing rules specifically for a discounted rate and based on quantity. So now we can see those price rules reflected on our quote as well. Now it's really easy to go in and specify our price lists on a quote, but one final thing I wanna show you before we wrap today is that Odoo allows us to specify a default price list for our customers if we choose. So when we automatically set up, it will be the Republic price list. Um, but if this is a wholesale customer, I would go to their contact form and under the sales and purchase tab, I am going to specify that their pricing should always default to the wholesale price list as opposed to our public pricing. That's all for us today. If you want to know more about Odoo price lists and how you can digitally transform your business, contact us today at sales at confianceit.com or call 704-214-4622 extension 403.